Oh, this is graphene sand. Graphene and sodium carbonate. Iron oxide. <coughs> Graphene. <coughs> this is cathode. Uh, <laughs> mm. What uh, <clears throat> what vapors are found on the surface of this iron oxide? Mm -hmm. uh, sodium sodium is very hydros uh, hydroscopic. It absorbs moisture uh, from air. That's the problem. Uh, today I climbed the mountain. Maybe trekking is the oh. <laughs> Korea consists of uh, a lot of mountains. Over seventy percent so uh, over seventy percent Korea. Con uh, yeah, let's say like that. Korea consists of. Over seventy seventy percent of mountains, so uh, I enjoy climbing mountains. Uh, today I climbed the mountains with my friends. <coughs> Okay, there is no short. <coughs> uh, let's charge this battery cell about uh, 15 minutes. Okay, see you then.
Hmm. <coughs> yeah, graphene sand battery. Graphene sand battery has great potential. Beautiful, isn't it? It's so beautiful. Just one layer uh, from uh, starting from 2.9 volt. Now this is uh, 2.4 volt. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Two point three volts now. And the voltage increases. <coughs> Maybe it this battery will be stabilized in 2.4 volt. Uh, I think uh, stabilized in 2.3 volt. Now the voltage doesn't drop anymore. Wall. Ah, oh, really good. This is solid, a graphene sand solid state battery. <laughs> really beautiful. Uh, maybe tomorrow I can experiment with this uh, bat uh, with this battery cell. You can you see that white dot? This is uh, water vapor with uh, uh -huh. By the reaction between aluminum and graphene and sodium, uh, water vapor is formed. Mm -hmm. But this is not the matter because I think I can solve this problem. Uh, 
Uh, I expect tomorrow because I have one, one pair, and the other pair. Oh, I am very rich. Uh, because I can experiment two things, but uh, sodium is very hydroscopic. Uh, maybe this camera cannot picture high, uh, water vapor on the surface of uh, so, uh, sodium compound. Um, maybe, I think that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. By the way, this battery cell, uh, graphene sand battery. It, uh, graphene sand was uh, made by graphite flakes and sand in microwave. Uh, you can you can see how I made this graphene sand in the previous video. Oh, good. Yeah, graphene sand has a lot of marriage. Graphene, graphene solids, uh, graphene sand, solid state battery. Really good. Uh, now the voltage is uh, just a 2.1 volt. Yeah. The problem is this one. The voltage drops. Yeah. Although amperage is very excellent. Maybe next time. Ah. Can you see that solid state battery has a lot of merits? Even though it is cut, it works. Let's cut it one more time. Now it works again. 
really, really, really research on a battery is a, is a really beautiful journey. <laughs> Graphene sand. Ah, one more. To make this battery, uh, this is uh, sodium detergent uh, by uh, thermal treatment. Thermal treatment. Uh, thermal process? Yes, yeah, thermal process. It means heat treatment. I, ma uh, I made it like this. This one. Graphene sand and sodium. Uh, sodium compound, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, let's say like that, detergent, detergent powder by thermal process, thermal, T-H-E-R, M-A-L, process. Oh, yeah, it works. How attractive. Although I cut, cut, yeah, I cut one cell into three parts, it still works. Really, really beautiful and attractive. Maybe, maybe. Uh, uh, I don't have a, I don't have a plan to make it into business. I don't have any plan to make uh, my battery. Uh, Sell, sold, sell, sold in the in the market. Uh, just I like I just like uh, research on a battery because uh, this is uh, really attractive, really really attractive to me because uh, mm. I I don't know this. Oh, maybe two people. Uh, this experiment might, might be boring, but for to me, this experiment is really fun. I just like this experiment. Mm -hmm. Okay, have a nice day. It's a beautiful day. Really, really, really beautiful.